Welcome to HS Game Time as we get you set for the 2013 high school football season. A lot of our kids from around the Inland Empire getting some love from Division I schools, and we're trying to get you caught up on all these commitments for scholarships. Kyle Glazer, sports writer here covering the football beat, has got you covered as we run down some of the, some of the progress we've seen over the, uh, especially the summer, a lot of stuff happening as we gear up and lead up into the high school football season, Kyle. So it looks like Vista Marietta and Centennial are on that collision course to meet for the Inland Division Championship for a fourth straight season, and for good reason. These teams are loaded with Division I caliber players. Yeah, another competition between the two teams this year is going to be which school produces the most Division I kids. Right now, they each have seven, eight, nine kids who are not only uh, committed or have offers to Division I schools, but BCS schools. Right now, Centennial has four kids going uh, to major Division I programs, Alabama, USC, UCLA, Cal, Vista Marietta right now, Arizona State, Arizona, Washington State. And then there's more to come. So as the year progresses, it's going to be interesting to track. Right now, Centennial has that slight lead four to three, but Vista Marietta has more kids with offers by one. We're going to track it, but I think this is going to be a year where both of them are going to produce more Division One kids than probably every other school in the Inland Empire combined. Now, you're not counting Colton Gerhardt twice, right? For football and baseball, he only counts for once, right? Only for one. Okay, yeah, and like you said, a lot of these kids are D1 caliber, just haven't accepted an offer yet, so... There's still a lot of time. This is just the first round, folks. There's a lot more kids that are going to be inking uh, their uh, letters of intent here over the next few months. All right, so keep it tuned to HS Game Time. Kyle will have you covered on that for sure. Now, you don't have to be at the premier program like a Centennial or a Vista Marietta. There's some great programs around like Heritage, who's you know quickly becoming, because they're still relatively a new school, one of the best teams in the area. They've got some D1 kids out there. Yeah, they're the only school at this point other than Centennial or Vista Marietta that has multiple kids going Division I. Uh, Limhai Hifo and San Takitaki. Hifo's going to San Jose State, Takitaki to BYU. Obviously, those are verbal commitments they could change. But if you want to go look around schools now producing the most Division I caliber talent, Heritage, Citrus Hill are right there just behind Vista Marietta and Centennial, even though they're in a lower division. They're really raising their profiles. We saw Citrus Hill send a couple of kids last year. This year, I think it's Heritage's turn to really uh, take it for some of the lower division schools and send them on to Division I colleges. Yeah, you know, I mean, they've got kids, like you said, who haven't committed yet, but they've you know, a lot of D1 schools are showing interest, like Matthew Palmer's another one out there who's, uh, who's really good, will have, a, am sure, a D1 uh, offer and acceptance maybe sometime this season. All right, the University of Nevada, maybe they finally found out that the Inland Empire is a great place for high school football because they've come in here and they've got two of the best receivers we have in the area. They're going to be uh, joining the Wolf Pack. Yeah, Ukaipa's Brandon Scott and Norda Vista's Victor Gonzalez have both uh, verbally committed to Nevada, and Nevada's coming for more. They've uh, checked in on uh, Talkwitz's Michael Stewart. They clearly like the athletic playmakers out here. There's a lot of good receivers, and the Wolf Pack are definitely trying to take advantage of it. We saw Arizona State had a centennial in Linaria pipeline, particularly for its linebackers. Maybe Nevada will have one for its receivers over the next few years. Sure looks like it right now. Well, speaking of the receivers, let's go to the defensive backs. And uh, I guess you could say we're a hotbed for defensive backs in the IE because uh, they're going D1. A lot, this year, defensive back seems to be the premier position. Kwesi Mashek over at Vista Murrieta, Maurice McKnight over to Royal Valley, Colton Gerhardt's going as a defensive back to ASU, and there's more to come. Ron Robinson, Santiago just committed to UCLA. It seems like of all the positions, defensive backs have been the most prominent in terms of accepting, accepting scholarships, and there's going to be more to come. Vista Murrieta has two big defensive backs who have yet to accept scholarships and it's really interesting because every year some years it's the linemen some years it's the quarterbacks defensive backs is that's the position group to watch this year in the Inland Empire if you're looking for college talent and just based on these division one commitments you're guaranteed we're gonna have a great season of high school football keep it tuned to HS game time for the very latest as we gear up for week zero on Friday August 30th for Kyle Glazer I'm Pep Fernandez we'll see you next time on HS game time